Okay, today I'm going to do a short video on the relationships between the some polygons with the vector. Of course, I only choose two of the famous polygon, which you will see in the vector topics. Okay, of course, this one is more regular happens in the additional max. Okay, even for SPM or for the IGCSE Cambridge level max, so they will also ask us about vector in hexagon. Of course, sometime or they want to make the question even more complicated, they can ask about the vectors in the octagon. Of course, here, okay, let's have a look on the hexagon first. So first, in order to solve those type of the vector question, you must understand the relationship between the vector and what is the relationship between the lengths on the meter okay okay for example okay i call this one the length over here is x okay then what is the length over here yeah if this one is x what is the length of this dash line this dash line will be 2x will be double of this one Okay, so so that's that's mean from here we can know that okay if the length over here is x because this is regular hexagon means all the lengths also same uh also same yes so that's mean if this is x so the length over here will be two x also this will be two x. Okay, so if this one is x, the length over here will be 2x also. Means all of this length is 2x, double length of this one. Okay, of course, happens in vector, when we, we happen to vector, let's say we know AB vector is P, and BC vector is Q. So maybe he asked about vector AD. Okay, he want to know about vector. Okay, assume this is straight line and assume this one is a regular hexagon means all the length is the same length. So we know AD will equal to 2Q. He will be double of Q. It will be double of Q. Okay, so how about how about the length of FC? How about the vectors of FC? If let's say he asks about the vectors of FC, so FC will be double of, so you have to write something, FC will equal to 2AB because both of these will, will in the same direction. So therefore, if AB equal to P, FC will equal to 2P. Okay? Okay, this is the very important relationship between the vector and the hexagon. So, of course, you know, if this, this one is P, Q, if this one is R, so this one will be 2R. So, this line will be 2R. Okay? Okay. And then, uh, last week, one of my students asked me, why? Okay, how you know this one actually the length of this one is double of this one. So this is what I'm going to do today is I prove you why. Okay, let's say we got the regular hexagon over here. Okay, this one is related, a little bit related to the trigonometric. So let's have a look. Okay, assume it's regular. Even I know my drawing skill is not that good. Okay, if this is regular, we know each of the angle is how many. How to find this angle? We got one side, two side, three side, four side, five side, six side. Six side means means what? Means six is at n. N equal to six. So it's n minus two multiple 180 divided by n in order to get the angle for each side. So therefore, we got four multiple 180 divided by six. We got six minus two. We got four. Four multiple 180. So so this one is 720, 720 divided by 6, we got 120. So that, that means each of the angle over here is 120. 
This all the angle is 120, all the angle is 120 if this is the regular hexagon. Okay, okay, so okay. So now if I want to okay, let's uh, let's call the length the length of this one is a, a. Mean all of this one is a. Let me use other color. A a a a a. Okay, because now we are calculate the length. Okay, we we are not doing the vector. So so even in the different direction also that now mind because I want to prove you the length first. So means all of this is a. Okay. So now. Okay, if I cut a ninety degree over here. Okay, we got this one is hundred and twenty also. We cut it half. Mean we cut it half. So I take out this triangle. I take out this triangle. Okay. So you will see a 90 degree over here. So I have a 90 degree over here. Length of this one will be A. So the angle we have over here is this one is 120. Correct or not? So if I cut a 90 degree out, here I will left 30. So here is 120, I cut it into the half. So this one will be 60 and 60, so I got the angle 60 over here. So this triangle add together got 180. Okay, so our objective here, I want to get what is this length. Okay, I want to get this length. Because we got another of this length over here. We know the length of this one is A also, because same. This, this is rectangle, what? rectangle means this length and this length is the same. So, uh, in order to get the length of this one, I have to plus 2 of this one. Okay, so now, if this is A, I want to find this one, I call it X. How to find? Obviously, this is opposite and hypotenuse. We know we can use sides. Okay, if we have a look on the angle 30. So this one called what? Size 30 will equal to opposite x over a. Clear or not? Look, if we have a look at this angle, we do not want to have a look at 60 over here. We have a 30. So this one is called size 30. Okay, size 30 equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, size 30, we know this is called half. Okay, so size 30 equal to half will equal to x over a therefore x will equal to half a okay a uh, x will equal to half a mean here is zero, uh, 1 over 2 is a half a la. mean here is half a here is half a that's why the full length over here will be 2a because 1a plus half a and half a is 2a that means it's double of this one Okay, may, maybe you will say, what if I use the angle 60? Okay, same thing. If you use the angle 60 over here, okay, okay, then we want to calculate x. Then we have to use cos because this is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so therefore I write cos 60 will equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's x over a. Cos 60 is half also equal to x. So x, same thing, you will got half a. Okay, therefore, we can easily prove that, we can easily prove that this is half a, half a, so this is a, so this one is, this one will be 2a. That means if we cut like, if we cut the triangle like this, you will go, if you cut the triangle like this, you got 2A also. Cut the triangle like this, you will got 2A also. Okay? Okay. What if we cut the triangle like this? Okay, means we cut the triangle like this. Okay, what if we cut out this one? Uh, then this one you can use the cost rule to find. Find this length. Cost rule tells us that A square plus A square minus 2 a, a multiple A and then cos 120 will equal to this one. Let's say I call this one C. So C square will equal to A square plus A square minus 2AA cos 120. Then here you got 2A square minus 2A. Uh, uh, no, no, this one you have to multiple cos 120 oh, first. 
4 equal to you got negative 1 a uh, okay so you have got negative a square over here so you have got a square that means the length of this one is equal to let's say c square the 2a square minus 2 multiple a multiple a is negative 2a square okay negative 2 negative 2 okay multiple cos 120 so we have got positive 1 so this is 2a square plus a square equal to c square so c will equal to square root of 3a square or you can mean the length of c actually will equal to square root of 3a okay will equal to square root of 3a okay however in the vector you got very seldom chance to to find out this length most of the time he will ask you to find this length so you know it's 2a and then he will ask you to find this length you you must know this is 2a okay so from here actually it can give you some okay so, so this is some line you must you must remember carefully okay means those line can can okay can divide this hexagon into the half one this one is double so if this is x this one will be 2x if this is x this one will be 2x if this is x this one will be 2x okay this is what you need to know between the hexagon and and vector so because in the vector you must understand this one if this is p this one will be 2p if this is q this one will be 2q if this is r this one will be 2r okay this is the relationship between the regular hexagon and the vector okay on next video i'm going to i'm going to post about the relationship between the octagons and the regular octagon and the vector okay thanks for watching